As a kid, I remember my first time encountering the massive starship known as Rosalina's Observatory. The tutorial level in which the game teaches the basic mechanics, such as traveling through space via launch stars, and learning how gravity shifts and mess with your perspective is near perfect. You get a sense of excitement as you cruise through the starry skies and admire the breathtaking view of all the floating planets filled with grass and living organisms. Upon collecting the first grand star, you are then introduced to the darkened observatory, which has lost all its main source of energy to cruise through space. You then insert the grand star you just collected into the core of the ship, and doing so brighten up the place just a little bit. Now you realize that this is their special home built by the Lumas and Rosalina, the mysterious space queen and mother. And thus, the first main area of the game has opened for you to collect more power stars to supply energy to the ship to rescue Peach. What I love about the observatory is that the entire ship becomes accessible partially after collecting a grand star, which opens up the path to the next area. I think this is genius because it makes you feel like you accomplished something by restoring power to their home. The fact that each area you visit in the observatory matches the theming of the ship as well. For instance, the first area is called the Terrace, and is supposedly where Rosalie and Lumas gaze upon the stars in the cosmos via telescope and the next area is a fountain where the Lumas can splash around and have a fun time or bathe. Then the kitchen, bedroom, engine, and garden. Everything feels very much alive and comfy. I always wanted to live here as a kid and still do, due to how massive it is in scale. Of course, we can't forget about Rosalina's storybook, where she reads a picture book that implies it's about her past as a child and the origin of how she became the mother of all Lumas. The first Galaxy game, in my opinion, is very special, and the hub world contributes greatly to the experience. Once I 100 percent the game, twice with Luigi, I wonder if there was another Galaxy game, and to my surprise, there was. I giddily booted up the second game after purchasing it in the Wii shop, and couldn't wait to dive in. After going to the tutorial and making my way to the main hub world of the game, I was confused as to what this floating planet was, and then Lava transformed it into the Starship Mario, and realized this was the hub. My excitement died down because I was expecting something similar to the observatory, and thought, this is it? Personally, it feels way too cramped, and the fact that you are constantly walking in a circle can be a bit disorienting due to the shifting gravity, and the lack of rooms like in the observatory felt underwhelming. Gone are the days where you can visit the kitchen and bedroom and mess around. Now it's just head to the next level in the style of New Super Mario Bros. without going into specialized rooms dedicated to flying to various planets. I think Starship Mario is just alright. It feels too plain for my liking, and the NPCs you encounter during a journey living on the ship is a nice touch, but not nice enough to convince me that this is better. Overall, I think both games are absolutely phenomenal. In terms of visuals and gameplay, I just think the hub for 2 is vastly inferior to the first game, which is a bit disappointing because Galaxy 2 introduced so many fun elements like Yoshi's and new power-ups. Comment down below which Galaxy game you like more, and please like and subscribe for more videos like this.